Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today. Um, first, I wanna thank you for being so kind on my last video. You guys gave me so many compliments and really made me feel good, so thank you. The wedding was beautiful. I was thrilled to see my cousins and my aunts and uncles. It was just a really nice time. Um, anyways, I am drinking some bone broth. This is something my new dietitian recommended I try just to a, hydrate, but also get potentially some nutrition from it while I try to hydrate. I'll tell you, I think it could use a little bit of salt, but I feel weird adding salt to this. I don't know. It's good though, and has a bit more for me than just water, so that's why I'm trying this. It's expensive. Um, I've made bone broth myself, and while that does save the cost it's just like storing it in the fridge and actually drinking it after i store it because like all the kind of like congeals on the top of it it's so not appetizing that's why i i tried purchasing this time but they it, it was a lot it was a lot for some very small containers if it makes some huge difference then great if not i might try going back to making it myself. All I can tell you though is it seems like the dogs are interested in it because there's a crew of them that have surrounded me right now after I brought this mug in with me. So I think the dogs would enjoy it, but I, I, sorry, it's too expensive. I'm not giving it to you. I'll let you know too that my ostomy did behave. I was very happy. It did behave on the day of the wedding. Um, I didn't eat a lot and I haven't really eaten a ton the last couple of days, just my appetite's been very low. So I think my ostomy is probably behaving more because of that than anything else. I know I need to eat. I've just, sometimes my appetite dips and you know, forcing food is something I, I don't like to do because I like to enjoy my food. That is very important to me. I really like to enjoy what I am eating. And that's something I told the dietitian because when I was younger, adding calorie powder and drinking uh, heavy cream and cereal, no. But I'm glad I don't think anybody saw my ostomy under my dress, so I was thrilled about that. I will put a picture right here of me at the wedding so you can see what I looked like. This was right after uh, the ceremony because the ceremony was at um, a church and then about an hour away was the actual reception. It was a long day. Anyways, what I wanted to share with you guys, I actually discovered this a few weeks ago and some of you might be like, a uh, duh. Some of you may think, maybe I'll try that. So I have talked a lot about how I don't use my ostomy bags like I should. I get non-drainable despite having a very active stoma and it's because I find it a lot cleaner and easier to empty a non-drainable bag than a drainable. I empty through the ring that connects to the flange and can clean the hard plastic pretty easily but when i have the ending of a bag that's kind of that flimsy plastic i just can't seem to get it completely clean and i know that sounds silly having had my ostomy as long as i have but it always winds up leaking on the edges or i notice an odor or i see it leak onto my clothes and i know some of you guys have said try this brand, try that brand, I have. And I just really hadn't found anything that would really get it clean. I've seen people mention, you know, keep a little squirt bottle or something like that. And I've tried that too. And I can never like get the stream of water perfect and large enough to really clean the end of the pouch. But I have found something unusual that I don't think I've ever seen anybody else use to clean the end of their bag. I thought I would share it with you today. So I uh, don't really like showing my output on camera. I apologize. So I'm going to go find a cheap drainable ostomy bag. I'm not wearing a drainable one right now. I'm gonna fill it with a little bit of oatmeal and I'm going to meet you in my filming hallway. All right, we're getting serious here. I gotta put the hair up. So the whole reason I figured this out or tried it out was because <laughs> couple of things. So I was recording some videos in which I needed a one piece bag with a window for it. And I had to do a few takes of it. So I was removing the bag, putting it back on. By the end of it, I just wanted to keep on a bag and not 
destroy my skin anymore. So that's why I was wearing the one piece bag that is like a cheapo off of Amazon. I, I don't even know the brand of it. There is no brand. The box says ostomy bags. That's it. So that's how I came to be wearing a one piece bag that is drainable. Normally, that's not what I wear. I'm a two piece person and I am a non drainable person too. So anyways, yes, had to empty for at least a day just so I wasn't ripping a bag off of it. And I also decided to go through all of my kind of medical supplies that are in this bathroom in our vanity. I was trying to clean it out, throw away old stuff. And in that stuff, I had all of my sinus surgery equipment. And so one of those things was this guy. This is like a bulb suction thing for babies. And I got it after my sinus surgery because I wanted a way to gently remove <laughs> all the drainage that comes when you get sinus surgery, AKA blood. Well, I really didn't use it a whole lot. Um, I think I used it like once or twice and then I, you know, I cleaned it, it's completely clean. And as I was cleaning my stuff out, I must have put it on the counter because it was up there. And so I went to drain the drainable ostomy bag and was having trouble cleaning it. And then I saw this and I was like, huh, I wonder if I took this, sucked some water up with it and tried to clean the end of my bag out, would that work? I've tried things like the little squirt bottles. I've tried things like syringes. Syringes, I, you know, it's hard to do it one-handed and the squirt bottles always had a much thinner stream and I felt like it just wasn't enough to really get it clean. So for the heck of it, I tried this and I'll tell you these, these X brand ostomy bags are one of the worst <laughs> drainable closures. They're not good at all. So perfect thing to test it out on and this got it so clean. And I know that this, this is not gonna be helpful for some of you. Some of you have got your routines down, but I figured even if one person is like, hey, let me try it out, cool. All right, so I'll show you how I did it. And it's definitely not convenient. This is not me going out in public or you know going to a public restroom and doing it. This is me in my bathroom here, but maybe it'll spark an idea for you. So let's go take a look at my fake ostomy bag. All right, as you can see, I've got my bulb suction. This is something I just got at the grocery store and it has a wider opening because it's not meant for this. It's not meant for squirting water. It's meant for sucking things out of your nose. Blech. I've got a little glass of water because that's how I'm going to suck the water up. And then I've got a little piece of tissue to dry the end of the bag when I'm all done. And I have a bowl as my toilet. So I'm gonna empty into this. And to make this a little bit easier than when I did my emptying video, I'm gonna stick this onto myself rather than trying to empty a bag while holding it, so. There we go. My actual stone is on this side and as you can see, uh, <laughs> my output is so watery. All right, let me empty this guy. We're just gonna empty it into a bowl and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. Apparently this does not stick well to fabric. Okay, good to know. We're almost there. Okay, so as you can see, the end of the bag is gross. Yeah, I don't like that. And I would try, you know, wiping it out with a wet wipe or toilet paper or whatever, and I just couldn't get it clean. I tried little squirt bottles, but Again, the stream of water was just too thin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna suck up some water. Pop open the end of the bag and over the toilet or your bowl. I'm really going to squirt and get this clean. This also just feels like I have a lot more control of where the water goes, and I think it's because I can hold something that's a little bit bigger. Even the stuck oatmeal bits are coming off, yay! Get that last little bit out of there, perfect. 
Okay, that is about as clean as I think I can get it, and it's pretty dang clean. So now I'm just gonna take my little toilet paper, put it in there. See, it's always the flimsy plastic, like right here, that I would have so much trouble getting clean. And that's where it would leak from. All right, I'm gonna rip the bag off of myself so I can really show you up close. That is pretty dang clean. All from this and a little bit of water. You'll have to tell me if you have tips for this. I know that on my one emptying uh, ostomy bags video, people gave a ton of great tips. Um, but I always get comments, just a couple that are like, you know, you should really be doing it this way or that's not how you do it um, or you're making it look harder than it actually is. This is, this is the best way to do it. Everybody's different. Everybody is going to find their own way that works the best for them. And it's not gonna look the same between people. Sometimes I think we look at medical devices and think there's only one or two proper ways to do things. And there are certain things that you cannot change for safety, for health. But thankfully with ostomy care, there is a lot of wiggle room on how to change an ostomy bag. And I, on my channel, have only shown a handful of ways to do it, but there are so many different ways out there. And same thing with emptying, or if you don't wanna empty, you don't have to. Or if you wanna drain out of the ring like I do, and be weird, do it, go for it, because it might work best for you. It might be the most convenient way to do it. But anyways, I thought I would show that because I was just kind of thinking, you know, with the way that my output has been, and the bags that I use, the bags that I use are actually quite small. Um, they're pretty tiny and I like that because I'm a short person and it's nice to not have an ostomy bag hanging down my leg halfway, but it doesn't leave me a whole lot of time. If my ostomy fills, it fills very quickly. So having the potential option of a larger bag like this, because my non-drainables probably come uh, a little lower, like probably there on this ostomy bag. So this gives me more time if I were wearing it. It's just the convenience of cleaning the end of it. Um, this gives me an option. If I'm just at home, not feeling great, and my ostomy is going crazy, maybe I switch to one of these and do this. I don't know, you guys will tell me what you think, but anyways, I'm going to continue sipping on my delicious bone broth <laughs> to try and get some hydration, make up for my ostomy that's currently going crazy. <clears throat> and I will catch up with you guys really soon. Bye guys.